So uh, currently we are stuck in um, Managua in Nicaragua. Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. This is Dos and Mamoyo of Trato Adventures. Yes. <laughs> so uh, currently we are stuck in um, Managua in Nicaragua. Um, we entered uh, Nicaragua and uh, the, the countries next to uh, Nicaragua are Costa Rica on the south and Honduras to the north. So we entered and were stuck because all the countries around closed their borders and we have 30 days to be in uh, Nicaragua. Our plan was by July, we make it to um, Alaska because there is a window of like two months, July, August, but we cannot make it to, um, to Alaska with the current uh, virus, the way it's going. So we are stuck. Yes, and what is complicating things is actually the motorcycles. When coronavirus intensified, mm -hmm. is that correct? When coronavirus intensified, we were in Costa Rica. And by that time, which is uh, beginning of, beginning of March, yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When we left Costa Rica, Costa Rica had three cases and the countries on the north had reported nothing. And so we knew we would take a week between Costa Rica and Mexico, where we knew if we got to Mexico, we'll probably be able to make good plans for motorcycle because of the time we get on our, on our visas and be able to get home in time. But when we arrived in Nicaragua, we arrived on a Saturday and then <laughs> Sunday we got to the city. We crossed the border on a Saturday. We made it to the city on Sunday. That was on 15th, 15th of this month, March. And then Monday we went to the Honduras and Guatemala embassies because we need visas in those two countries. Even if we have the American visa, we still need to apply the visas for those two countries. So we went there, the borders were still open for us, but they were closed for the European countries. And they gave us all the requirements and we made the applications and we were to deliver the hand copies of the papers, the, the, the paperwork on Tuesday. When we went there on Tuesday, things had changed. In the afternoon of Monday, all borders were closed <laughs> for everyone. The two governments, Honduras and Guatemala, closed the visa application portal which means that the people at the consulate can, cannot accept any application, cannot process any applications that were sitting there. And that is how now we could not get out of Nicaragua. So our option B was? To fly to Mexico, leave the bikes here to fly to Mexico and kind of sit it out. Yeah, and come back to Nicaragua when things settle down. Yeah. Now, the reason we wanted to get out was because in Mexico we get more time. Here we get 30 days. And then that thought was very good thought. But then we realized we'll be in Mexico and the bikes will be in Caragua and they will need extension for the temporary import permits, mm -hmm. which might be difficult to do when we are away. So that option died. Then we looked for option three to fly with our motorcycles to Mexico and we are all there in Mexico. We could not find a cargo, air cargo that can do this at this time. One, people are not flying cargo, they are actually flying out. There is yeah. no cargo movement. There is people moving out, flying out. And so quotations for flying just to motorcycles in a whole plane are crazy. And nobody was even willing to take that risk to, to take our motorcycles there. So two things happened. The fact that we can't find air cargo to lift it to Mexico. And 
with the prices were crazy yeah yeah so that means we stay here yeah so we've looked at all the options we've had and the best option for us now is to sit in Nicaragua. We can get one visa extension, I think two visa extensions, and we are hoping that we will only need one. We are optimistic that one, we will get a shipping company to put our bikes in and have them en route to Kenya. And two, we are praying that also the airspace is going to open up. Because the other thing that happened is that even if we had managed to get the, the bikes on, on the high seas, Kenya airspace closed. Yeah. So that also became tricky for us. So we will sit in in Caragua and hope... Self-quarantine. Yes, self-quarantine. Uh, reported cases are not many here. We we'll try and get the bikes on the high seas and once the bikes are off our hands, it will be easy for us to, when the opportunities come to be able to fly out, that will be easy. We can get a ticket and go back home. So I think the story of our book at this point is either going to read this chapter, <laughs> they made it out of Nicaragua after so much, Just or, <laughs> or we might be in the history of the couple that left Kenya and settled in Nicaragua and became Mrs. Uno and Dos. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, and when you're traveling to Nicaragua, you will be filling your forms. Do you know anybody in Nicaragua? Yes. And you'll be saying yes. Yeah. Yes. But it's not a bad country. No. Uh, the nature, it's, it's beautiful. The people are chill. Yeah. Yeah. So our next step is to actually go back to Kenya. And we, and we don't see that in the foreseeable future. Yeah. yeah. I think the fears that we may have is if coronavirus is not managed beyond the two months that we can extend the visa here, then what? Um, and the other thing is, what if the airspace takes quite long to open up for yeah. us to be able to go to come home, then, then what? But we also hope that governments in various countries know that they have a number of people that were not able to leave for one reason or the other and I am sure they will be kind to all these foreign citizens <laughs> yes all of us who are stuck in other countries I am sure that the governments will be considered about us and I don't think we will suffer any more than the local people and so far we've never met bad people yeah. we've, we've been very fortunate even now where we're staying they're lovely people so we're hopeful yeah. and we pray for everyone we remember all of you and ask you that don't panic too much we are fine yes and we'll keep updating you on our corona tales mm -hmm. so quarantine yeah we have a nice room as you can see yeah yes we have a nice room with a bathroom there and Yes, the cost of living has gone up a little, but who hasn't? Yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah, we just have to learn to manage like everybody else. Yes. So see you guys, and let's stay in touch.